Scott's got to keep his elbow on the pad there. You see Ballesteros pushing forward. He's pushing him off the pad. To me, man, that's a that's a very controversial call right there because Annabelle, it's a very controversial moment. Okay, but to me, it looked like he was pushing back. To me, it looks like he was pushing back, pushing him off the pad. It did not look like Ballesteros is pinning him over to me. I have to agree with Scott on this. So, guys, if you're not from California, you probably didn't know there was a tournament called North versus South, which is basically NorCal versus Southern California going at it, basically halfway in between, somewhat close to halfway in between in Bakersfield. And there were some amazing matches. It was almost eight hours of super matches, which is like, I don't know the exact number, but I would assume like 30, 30 or so super matches. And one that stood out to me was Scott Partington versus Ballesteros for the number one spot at basically my weight, like 230 or 240 in California on the left arm. And this was an incredible match. Went all the way to what you could say potentially is a controversial decision. I want you to watch until the last match because uh, it gets it gets heated. It gets intense. But this is an incredible arm wrestling match right here. So this is round one. And by the way, shout out to Benji Mack for the footage. Amazing quality footage here. This is for the number one spot on the left arm in California at about 230 to 240, I believe. Scott looks large. I faced him many times, but he looks, I don't know, he looks bigger than 240. He looks 250, 260. The guy always looks pretty massive, but I'm assuming they're around the 240. Scott is yelling at Bill there, yelling at him. Something he doesn't like in the setup. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So you see Ballesteros with his pronation engage has the has the rise advantage here. Even though his wrist, oh, he gets on top there. Super impressive. Being that I pulled Scott many times and he is very strong. Look at him. He's Ballesteros is just, uh, he has the, the optimal position. He's kind of waiting him out there. This is a long match here. Scott still holding on. What are they calling there? Elbow on Scott. So they'll go to a restart. So because this video is so long, this stream, it's kind of hard to find every single match. I would urge you to watch, uh, watch it in full time in the description. It's up to like 20 minutes long, but basically it goes back and forth, um, two to two, and then it comes to the last match and then, uh, We'll go to the last match here. It's absolutely heated moment. Both these guys trying to win so bad. This is 2-2. I'll just set the stage. Let's get behind them, guys. This is for the win, for number one uh, in California at their weight on the left arm. This is it right here. This is it. Oh, wow. Scott with the great position on top. But uh, Ballesteros is really good in that flop position, it seems, in the strap. Still attacking. And he's got his wrist back, but he's, he's basically cornered. His only move is to push Scott off the back. So he pushes Scott off the back there which uh, it depends on the rule set, whether they call that an intentional push off or if it's just the elbow foul to Scott. And I think the UAL basically, if it's to the side, it's uh, allowed. If it's you're pushing them back, technically that it's a push off and that would be a foul on Ballesteros. But the referees are talking here. Again, this is for the win here. This is a very, very big uh, ref's call here because it's 2-2. Two, two. This is a huge call here for Bill Collins. He has them come to the table. He's telling Scott to come to the table. So he gave a foul to uh, Ballesteros for pushing off. So that's a foul. He deemed that that was an intentional pushing off of Scott's elbow. And he's giving the match to Scott because that's two fouls for Ballesteros. 
And then look, Nick Postel is talking to Bill and he says, look at the video, I, I believe. He says, wait, that was one foul. You can, you can read Nick's lips. He says, wait, that was one foul, not two fouls. And then Scott is looking for a handshake. This is a crazy moment, guys. This is a crazy moment. I was watching this live, super entertaining. But Scott is like, what, you're not going to shake my hand? Nick is like, uh, that was one foul. That was not two fouls. I believe they look at the video here in a second. See, Scott is like, handshake, handshake. And then he's like, oh, whatever. You don't want a handshake? I won. Yeah, he's like this. Scott's like this. I won. You're not going to shake my hand? I... So the question is, is that the first foul or the second foul? You see Nick saying that's only been one foul. You can see him again uh, talking to that other dude, and then Bill is right there. They're like, that's only one foul. Bill's like, okay, so there Bill, I mean, I'm reading the body language here. There Bill points to Nick's camera. He's like, hey, let me look at the footage. You can see clearly that's what's going on. So now they're looking at the footage of that match. This is crazy. This is crazy. I can't wait to see the footage on Nick Postel's channel, ArmTube. It's a great YouTube channel for arm wrestling. That's the bald dude right there the with that channel. Great channel. Guys, the score is two to two. So, 2-2. Two to two. Bill is looking at it. You can see. I'm trying to read Bill's uh, body language here. He's having the other down ref, uh, I believe Chris Collins, also take a look at this footage here. So you can see him talking about is it a push or not. You can read the, uh, the the lips of Bill there as he's looking at the footage there. So they're saying are they pushing it off or are they pushing it? Is he pushing to the side? Is it an intentional elbow elbow push off? Intentional push off or not? So they're still looking at the footage there. The The question is, is that the first foul for Ballesteros or the second in a loss? You can see Scott looking over there at the footage as well. So they're going to reverse the call, I believe. So after looking at the instant replay. You hear him on the mic. He says, after looking at the instant replay, let me turn the volume up a bit. The original call was intentionally pushing him off. The original call was intentional and after pushing. And looking at the replay, Ryan was pushing him sideways. So they're saying he pushed him sideways, not off for the intentional foul, which to me that looked like that was the only option. It didn't look like Balaceros was going to pin Scott there, in my honest opinion. Elbow but they're reversing the call. Scott, so Scott gets a foul. Match restarts. So they're giving the foul to Scott for elbow yeah, off the back the instead of... The foul on Ballesteros. So it's a restart here. You can see Scott's like, what the hell? <laughs> this is an absolute crazy moment, crazy moment. Intensity. I love watching this. You can see how bad both these guys want to win. That's one thing that's so awesome about this sport, that competitive nature. These guys, it's a, it's a war of their wills, you know? Who wants it more? I mean, it's a very close match in strength. But um, it's coming down to another restart here. They're reversing the call, so it's a huge moment. Bill is like, all right, take a grip, guys. So the stream starts to lag for a second, but uh, I'm going to skip forward to here we are. Here we are. This is it. This is it. This is for the win. It's 2-2. Two, two. This is it. This is for the win. One foul to Scott. Scott again with that dominant hand position. Ballesteros flopped under, only able to push forward. Scott's got to keep his elbow on the pad there. You see Ballesteros pushing forward. He's pushing him off the pad. To me, man, that's a that's a very controversial call right there because to me that looked like intentional. That looked like Ballesteros had no way of pinning Scott, but he's just trying to push him off the back. That's my assessment. Just because I believe Scott has such a dominant position that all he could do is push him off the back. He didn't have enough pressure to push him to the side. From this angle, that's my analysis of this. Look at Scott, absolutely out of breath. Just had a war. They're calling that second elbow, and they're giving the win to Ballesteros. Scott is heated. He's saying that's a push-off, which to me, 
if that if the push off rule is in there, then it should be enforced. To me, that looked like an intentional push off and not a pin to the side, in my personal opinion. So it doesn't end here the drama because Scott is heated about this decision, which uh, is understandable. It's a very controversial moment. Okay, but to me, it looked like he was pushing back. To me, it looks like he was pushing back, pushing him off the pad. It did not look like Balaceros is pinning him over to me. I have to agree with Scott on this. If the pushing foul, now you could say, you could say if you're arm wrestler, it's your, you're responsible to keep your elbow on the pad no matter what. But if that rule is in there, then that rule is in there. So it's just a matter of rules at that point. And there you see Bill looking at the at the call one more time. And Bill says match to Balaceros. To me, that is very controversial. When watching that, it, it looked to me like Scott had such a dominant position and Balaceros was just trying to um, push his elbow off the back. It did not look like he was going to be able to pin Scott to the side, in my opinion. But what do you guys think about this? I really want to know. Leave your comment in the comment section because this is a kind of a crazy uh, rules moment when it comes to this specific rule of the pushing off, which usually it doesn't really isn't really that talked about or isn't a rule that really is applicable um, in a match because that situation just doesn't occur. But this is the, the, the winning match and that situation occurs where it's just a matter of judgment. Do you think that he's pushing him off the back or did you actually think he's trying to go to the side and pin? It, to me, it looked like Scott had way too much power to the side to where if Balaceros actually went to the side, he would have he would have just completely lost or went went under, you know. But he can push uh, forward, so that's that's my assessment of it. But please leave a comment. What do you guys think on this? And North versus South looked super cool. I wish I could have made it. Subscribe to Benji Mac with who uh, live streamed the whole video. Awesome live stream, and I'm looking forward to more awesome tournaments in California and the region and covering it, making YouTube videos. So, thank you guys for watching.